you know, excited about the challenge this week. This is a huge challenge and a, and a big opportunity uh, for our team early in the season uh, to kind of see where we are and, and, uh, and then grow from there. So excited about it. Hi, Mom. Welcome back to the castle. This is year 124 of Clemson football, but it's our first full year of castle recovery. This is the Clemson Applied Science Lab, and we're gonna go through some new toys uh, that we've brought in to help our guys operate at their optimal level. One of the things that we've been using is infrared light used to stimulate tissue repair at the cellular level. We're using light as an antioxidant, trying to reduce muscle soreness and improve performance across a lot of different domains, in the weight room and on the field. This is something that's being used to hit both the front and the back of the body. It's using four different wavelengths of light, all penetrating different depths of tissue, trying to improve and aid in cellular respiration. So we also use infrared light to try and warm the body from the inside out. It'll vibrate water molecules within the soft tissue in an effort, again, to make our guys feel looser, stimulate blood flow, put them in an optimal state for massage tools. Our massage chairs, our Normatex sleeves, our massage guns, all things being used to try and make guys feel a little bit better and make a difficult game easier to play. Before they get heated up, we're also using extreme cold. So we have a heat side, we have a cold side. Our cold side is brought to you by cryotherapy. This uses extreme cold temperatures to try and put an athlete into a shocked state, stimulating the sympathetic nervous system so that the rest of the day, the body's trying to catch back up, warm itself from the inside out, and putting them in a rest and recovery state. One of the things that's really important with cryotherapy when we're in extreme cold temperatures is that we're protecting the extremities. So we're making sure that our ears are covered, our hands are covered, our feet are covered using slippers, gloves, earmuffs, and we put a face mask on, make sure it doesn't get too cold in the lungs. So are you ready to go in? All right, here we go. Make sure we got all the safety features. We got the earmuffs, the face mask, the gloves, the slippers. We're all ready to go in three, two, one. So what you're experiencing now is a rapid cold air flowing around your entire body. It's getting from the head all the way down to the toes, trying to create a, a shock system across the entire body. In addition to physical recovery, it's really important that we focus on mental recovery. And we do that by using a sensory deprivation tank. This is about a foot of water with 1,200 pounds of Epsom salt dissolved into it, allowing guys to get in there, float, and disengage, almost melt away from the external stimuli, the light, the sound, the stresses of football, of school, of just being a teenager. Uh, all is an effort, again, to uh, kind of reset, both mentally and physically. Was that what you were looking for? I remember, I just like remember seeing it on TV. Now it's like crazy because I was doing it. And them good fans, good fan base. I feel like that's the this is the best part of college game day is just going and hyping up the student section. You know, I never run over there, and I should start doing that. This looks really, really fun and hype. We always kind of huddle up and do a little prayer before as an offensive line, as a unit. You always got to glimpse up and see them run into the end zone, just seeing how the fans and how the student section reacts. I mean, there's no better feeling than knowing that, hey, we're about to kick off in Death Valley. The stadium's rocking. Everybody's hype. We're hype. Man, we really do have the best fans in the country. Like, no joke. It just sets the tone for the whole game. Honestly, it's just electric. The place is wild and it, you feed off it so much. At first I didn't think it was going to be that good of a play just from, I wasn't in at this point, but just watching and they seen the guy was right in his face. Nobody's catching Travis. So. Jackson had an insane block 
which sprung Travis and, you know, Travis doing what Travis does, just turning the speed on, just leaving everybody. It's just fun watching fast people run. The longest run that has ever happened in uh, Death Valley. So just being able to experience that and see the joy on everyone's face. Like even Matt was just busting it as hard as he can to get to the end zone and celebrate. And that's just something that you love to see. And all the skill players, Travis and everybody was just celebrating with everybody. So you just love to see that. Third and one, Chad coming up big time. That's a really good play by him. Man, just do anything you can to not let him get a yard. And then it just opened up perfectly for him. And I got that. I got the best view in the house, it was right in front of me. And the best thing when you get to celebrate with one of your best friends, it's really cool. I said fourth and one's a big stop for us, you know, with, I just saw the gap and knew that there's you know, not a lot of room for error there, so I just shoot the gap and, you know, make a play and just, you know, went low on the guy and, you know, wrapped him up and Chad and them finished him off for us. Corner made a big play, picked Trevor off, pretty rare. Oh, that boy is fast. Okay. When thinks he's six six, he can move that fast, but he can he can fly. Oh, that's the play that Coach Finney was talking about, Hunter the champion right there, because we ended up getting the pick right after. I just was knew in the back of my mind I was like that effort right there is gonna keep them from scoring. Allowed us to, you know, the defense come in and make a big uh, goal line stand. That's crazy, that's hard of a champion right there. That's great to see a guy that could have easily just said, oh man, and just kind of stop and just let that go, go, walk in, touchdown. But he was determined that he was gonna make up for his mistake and he sure did. Plays like that is what's gonna make our season. Just guys going out there and just giving their all no matter what mistakes they made. Um, he could have easily quit on that play, but he kept moving. This whole goal line stand, this series of four plays is really cool. So we stopped him three downs in a row, you know, thinking maybe a play action pass. They come out. And I get a little tip on it. Denzel cleans it up for me. Galski makes a big play and tips it. Denzel, you know, tips or picks. Kind of luck of the draw there came right to him, but, you know, I'll give him credit. I can remember uh, thinking to myself when Trevor, like, tackling him at the two, I was like, dang, this is going to be. Like, I think we can do this. We on to the next.